so to summarize, get an order, pack the item, slip it into the pouch, print out the barcode, the shipping invoice, stick that into the pouch, bring the pouch to a delivery drop-off point, have the staff scan the order, scan the pouch, and then drop off the pouch, and that's it. So actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. Hello Internet! Hardware Sugar is on Lazada and we're a newbie seller. And to be honest, we're finding the process a bit confusing. It's not very user-friendly. So from one newbie seller to another, here's the process of how to go about shipping your orders. I did try to find this information online, but Lazada doesn't make it easy to find this information. Yeah, there's Lazada University, which is basically their YouTube tutorial videos, and there's the usual search the question and answer forums, the help section of their site, but really there's no easy guide just to explain what do you do after you get an order. Signing up on Lazada is actually quite easy. You just go to the site and there's a link there that says sign up. You give them basic information about yourself and you have to submit basic documents like your business registration and things like that. But overall, signing up is a straightforward process. The first thing you should do is buy these pouches. They come in different sizes and basically they're the Lazada branded pouches which you'll ship your orders with. And the reason why you need these pouches is because the drop-off points won't accept your orders unless they come in these pouches. It's true though that I was able to talk to a customer service representative last month, January 2019, and she told me that actually the policy is for your first 10 orders, they don't need to be in these pouches. As long as they're packaged properly, the drop-off points should accept them. But I had a problem with that because I went to the drop-off point nearest to my place and they wouldn't accept my package without the special Lazada pouches and I explained to the drop-off point staff that you know the CS person I talked to told me that they should be allowed because it's my first order and the staff there didn't know they had to call up a Lazada representative and the Lazada representative also did not know but finally because I said that you know I have the chat transcript I can show to you guys that your CS told me that this should be allowed they finally allowed me to drop off the item. But to be honest, to save yourself the hassle of, of all of that, and anyway, if you're a serious seller, if you want to continue on Lazada, you're going to need these pouches anyway. So I figure once you're signed up, you might as well go out and buy them. It saves you a lot of hassle in the long run. And yes, if there is an initial cost up front, like it's several hundred pesos, I think 300 depending on the size or things like that. And some people do complain about it online because Shopee does not require specially branded pouches. But again, if you're a serious seller, if you're looking towards the future and you think, you know, you want to be serious about selling on Lazada, what's, you know, it's only couple of hundred pesos and you get a bunch of pouches. Again, it's sort of like you're investing in your business. Buying them is straightforward. You just order them by Lazada and you put in the usual information like where to deliver them and your credit card and things like that. But that's where it gets complicated because after you buy them, you need to fill up a special form. It's also in the link provided. I also put it in the link below. To be fair, Lazada does have text instructions on after you buy the pouches, you need to go back and to fill up this form. And yes, it's there, it's written, but again, it's unnecessarily complicated. Why wasn't it better integrated into the selling process? Like after you order, they email you that please fill up this form or things like that. Anyway, again, and to be honest, I don't understand why they need to track who's ordering these pouches. I mean, if you want your brand out there, shouldn't you make it as simple as possible to buy the pouches? Because what happens if you don't fill up their form is that the order gets cancelled. And you'll need to order again and then fill up the proper form. So just from buying the pouches, unnecessarily complicated. So you have the pouches, 
you sit back, you relax, and you wait for someone to order from your store. Hopefully, it won't take too long. In my case, or in the case of Hardware Sugar, it was maybe around two or three weeks, I think, before we got our first order. And the first notification you'll get is via email. And that's really the only visible notification you'll get. On the Lazada backend, or on the Lazada page of your shop, you won't see any status notification that you have an order. So, to make sure that you're able to respond promptly to the orders, be sure to always check the email that you signed up with. So you get an order, you see what it is, and hopefully you know you didn't make a mistake and you have it in stock. So first thing you do is you pack the item. So usually what I do is for hardware sugar components and things like that, I wrap it in bubble wrap and then slip it inside the pouch. And then you just print out the shipping invoice, which is basically the Lazada provided barcode and it has the information of your customer and the delivery address and things like that. There are other documents that come with the item. Usually it's a shipping invoice and a summary of the order. After you've printed the invoice, you slip it to the back of the pouch. You seal the pouch with the adhesive. You can add extra tape here if you want just to make sure it doesn't open. And after the package is sealed, you go back to the back end of your shop on Lazada and click ready to ship. And after that, that's where I got confused again. Because I thought ready to ship meant that somebody from Lazada would come over to my shop and pick up the item. But that's usually not the case. For smaller items, and I would imagine many sellers of Lazada fall under this category, for many smaller items, you need to be the one to drop off the item at a drop-off point. And nobody explained that to me. I couldn't figure it out at all. I had to call up customer service and I really tried to research. I, I don't like bothering other people with questions, the answers of which are already online, whether in the Lazada videos or their help section or things like that. But I, I went through Lazada University and all I found was shipping options, Lazada fulfillment centers, and all of those don't apply to you or they don't apply to the majority of the items because, again, smaller items, you need to be the one to drop it off. And so the question becomes, where can you drop it off? And that's another thing, like, it's not easy to find on the Lazada site the list of drop-off locations, but they do have a link and I've included it in the YouTube description below. Again, all of this information is in the description below. But again, I wish Lazada had a straightforward process that, you know, once you have an order, this is how you can fulfill it. But once you found a drop-off point that's near you, be sure to note that usually most drop-off points are only open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But they claim to be open every day, including Saturdays and Sundays, and even holidays. I've never tried that, but that's what my drop-off point claims anyway. But however, my drop-off point is strict with the 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm not sure about other drop-off points. I've only gone to one drop-off point. Once you have your item package, you go to the nearest drop-off point. You, usually it's like a gas station or something like that. And there's a Lazada cage very near the admin office of whatever your drop-off point is. But don't drop off your item right away. You need to see one of the staff there and they will scan your item first with a Lazada scanner and then they'll let you know that after that, okay, you can drop off your item. So actually, it's a pretty straightforward process if somebody just explained it to you. I mean like if Lazada just emailed all first-time sellers with just one graphic like this is what you need to do, that would be so much simpler rather than the process I had to go through of trying to find answers on my own and when I couldn't find any, I had to wait for customer service chat to get back to me and to explain like what do I need to do and things like that. And so that's the purpose of this video, to make it super useful for new Lazada sellers, such as Hardware Sugar. So that process works for smaller items, but of course there will be sellers, like Hardware Sugar, that have bigger items on sale. 
So what happens if you have items that won't fit into the cage? That's when you can request for a pickup from your store. And so we have here the Thermaltake Core P3TG, wall mountable. It's an open design case and its size will definitely not fit into the Lazada drop-off point cage. So for these kind of items, first you need to wrap them up. Lazada likes it all bubble wrap. Preferably if you can slip it into another box. I know that's a bit of a hassle but sometimes Lazada is strict. You need to put it into a separate box, let's just say an, another cardboard box. They don't or they prefer not to ship it in just with the original packaging. But once you have it in another box, you wrap that up in bubble wrap as well. And it's the same basic process. You print out the shipping invoice and you stick it there on the box. And after that, once it's all packed up, you need to click on another link in the description below. And you need to request Lazada to pick up the item. But clicking on the link doesn't automatically request a pickup. You need to first take a picture of the item already properly packaged, already with the shipping invoice stuck onto the box. And then Lazada will review the photo. And if it passes their quality standards of packing, that's the only time that your item will be scheduled for pickup. So that's when they'll go to the shop and pick up the item and take it from there basically. And for first time sellers, take note that Lazada is quite strict with their packing requirements. The first time I tried to ship an order for a 32 inch LG monitor, they refused me several times. They said first, you know, you have your packaging wrong. The second time it's when you have your shipping invoice wrong and things like that. So actually I had to submit it three or four times before they finally said that, okay, the packaging is correct and we will schedule you for pickup and then the pickup itself was late you know it should have been on a Tuesday it became a Wednesday so there's a lot of aggravation involved in shipping larger bulkier items the drop-off point system is a lot more convenient but you know sometimes that really won't work and you have bulky items so to summarize the whole process for smaller items you should have the Lazada pouch stick it into the pouch Print out the invoice, slip that into the pouch, get yourself to the nearest drop-off point, have the staff scan it, and then drop off the item. For larger, bulkier items, you'll need to package it properly. For electronics, which Hardware Sugar mostly deals in, everything will have to be bubble wrapped, preferably with an exterior cardboard cover as well. Stick the shipping invoice onto the packaging. Take a picture, upload that picture to Lazada via their special link. Lazada will approve it and then schedule the item for pickup. Hardware Sugar is new to Lazada. Hopefully, more people will find us through that site. But if you're watching this YouTube, you most likely already know how to order from us, whether through our site or through our Facebook or... Heck, you can even leave a YouTube comment on one of our videos if you find any items that you like and we'll probably respond there as well. But Lazada is useful for reaching out to people that have not heard about you yet. They have, you know, they spend a lot of money on marketing, they have a lot of promos and things like that. That's why we thought of putting Hardware Sugar on Lazada. And hopefully for your shop as well, Lazada will prove useful for boosting sales. And I'm excited to sell more stuff on Lazada now that I understand how to actually go about it.